10 Things You Didn't Know About Jacob Wall Welcome to the X Last Channel, 1 million inspirational things to get future better. Jacob Wall is someone whose name started popping up in the news in recent times because of his support for Donald Trump. Supposedly, he is a hedge fund manager. In practice, well, suffice to say that it is no secret that he has lied about his numbers on more than one occasion, meaning that interested individuals want to look elsewhere than this self-proclaimed wunderkind. Here are 10 fun facts that people may or may not have known about Jacob Wall. Number 1, He Supports Donald Trump Wall became noticed because of his support for Donald Trump. In particular, he received some attention from Fox and other conservative-leaning news sites for being an example of a young Trump supporter. Number 2, He Has Been Retweeted By Donald Trump So far, Trump has retweeted Wall on more than one occasion. This is perhaps unsurprising, seeing as how Wall is an eager participant in the back and forth that takes place whenever the current President of the United States tweets. As a result, Wall has posted some rather outlandish tweets over time. Number 3, he has complained about liberals not complaining about the UK. For example, Wall has tweeted to complain about liberals complaining about Russia but not complaining about the anti-democratic monarchies that can be found in Qatar, Saudi Arabia the United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom. There are, of course, two problems with this statement. 1. Liberals tend to loathe the Gulf monarchies. 2. The implicit comparison of the United Kingdom with the Gulf monarchies is ridiculous because the British monarchy has much less say over British politics than their Gulf counterparts over their politics. Number 4. He has claimed that the Iranians will welcome being bombed. Wall is one of a number of public figures in the United States who have been expressing very optimistic views about what will happen should the United States choose to bomb Iran. To be exact, Wall has claimed that he has received numerous messages from Iranians saying that they would welcome the United States bombing their country, which perhaps unsurprisingly, he has produced no evidence for. Number 5, He Has His Own News Site Amusingly, Wall has his own news site, which is supposed to exist for the purpose of combating fake news. Currently, this news site is called The Washington Reporter, but in the past, it was called Offended America. For those who are curious, media's bias slash fact check has called it a questionable source, citing its use of emotional language in addition to both bad sources and bad sourcing for the purpose of creating a narrative that is favorable towards the political right 100% of the time. Number 6, His Father Is A Frequent Fox Guest It is interesting to note that Wall's father is David Wall, who some people might recognize as a lawyer who shows up on Fox from time to time. Bloomberg has stated that Wall's initial appearance on Fox was arranged by his father David. Number 7, Claims To Be The Youngest Hedge Fund Manager Wall has claimed to be the youngest hedge fund manager in the world. It is clear that he has managed money for other people, but considering the bodies that have looked into his practices, people might want to be cautious about believing what Wall says. Number 8, The National Futures Association Banned Him Montgomery Assets isn't Wall's first effort in the world of investing. He and his previous business called Wall Capital Investment Group actually got banned by a self-regulatory organization called the National Futures Association, which was looking into it because of complaints launched by a client named David Diedrich. Wall brazenly refused to cooperate with its examiners, stating that because he had cancelled his membership, they no longer had the right to look into his activities. Number 9, The Arizona Corporation Commission has pointed out some of his lies. Speaking of which, the National Futures Association is far from being the sole regulatory organization interested in what Wall has been doing. For proof, the Arizona Corporation Commission pointed out some of Wall's lies, with an excellent example being his claim that he managed $10 million for 178 investors when he was actually managing no more than $500,000 for 13 investors. Something that contributed to its claim that Wall had violated Arizona's securities laws. Number 10, David Diedrich suffered for his choice to believe Jacob Wall. As for David Diedrich, he was told by Wall that his initial investment of $75,000 had grown to $89,500.
However, when Diedrich asked for his money back, he wasn't able to get it until he had made multiple requests. Even then, he received no more than $44,000 of the supposed $89,500, which explains why he launched his complaint.